Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful Wednesday yesterday. Today is Thursday, January 13th, 2022, and it is a day three. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to participate in the Mindful Minute. So let's go ahead and begin. Use your eyes, scan your environment, focus on something that catches your eyes. Maybe it's something that you noticed yesterday. Maybe it's something completely different. Look at it, study it, identify the shapes and the symbols and the colors and the size and, you know, the texture even that you notice with your eyes. Take a breath with your nose and out. What do you, what do you notice with your sense of smell? What does it remind you of, for instance? And then with your ears, listen. What do you hear? What sounds exist right now and might have always been existing, but now you really noticed it and can observe it because you are finally paying attention. And finally, with your sense of touch, what do you feel with your skin? Very good. Now today we're going to go ahead and move on to our breathing technique. There are many different breathing techniques. I really want to go ahead, go ahead and review them just in case. Remember, there is the smelling of the flower and the flickering of the candle. I used to say blow it out, but you want to let that air out nice and slowly. Not like you're blowing it out, but you're just making that flame dance. There's also the hot cocoa in and out, right? There's also the rainbow breathing in and out. One of my favorites, starfish breathing. And finally, don't forget, there can just be simple breathing. Sit, get yourself comfortable, and breathe in, breathe out. Okay? So I'm going to use the starfish breathing because, well, that's what I feel like doing. You can use whatever breathing technique works for you including the ones that you have invented. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that first breath in. And out. As you breathe in, notice where you are, notice how you feel, notice what you sense around you, and as you breathe out, arrive at this moment into this place. Breathe in nice and slowly. Feel the air filling your belly as if it were a balloon. And then slowly let it out through your mouth. Notice the warmth of that air coming out through your mouth. As you get into the rhythm of noticing what is around you, including the magnificent aspects of your breath, breathe in, breathe out. Also notice, too, how you feel. You know, are you present are you focused breathe in and out and if your mind is actually thinking about something totally different than what is happening right now just gently bring your breath back breathe in and your attention and notice what is happening again right here breathe out but then also think about what other emotions you have including happiness as you breathe in or more unpleasant feelings like sadness Breathe out. Sit with those feelings. Allow them to exist for real. Breathe in. Don't get too caught up in what made you happy or what made you sad. Breathe out. Just notice that you are happy or sad or any number of feelings. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let them exist and then let them move on. In a moment, you will hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter, and when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the Fort, where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, it's ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, 
and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You can go ahead and take a seat. I want to thank you for joining me in this Mindful minutes. always nice to know that you got to join me and I get to join you. And it's so wonderful. I love it. Now, don't forget, we have three expectations here at the school, too, okay? Number one, be respectful to yourself as well as others. And yesterday was a very respectful day. Uh, many of the children that I checked in with were doing phenomenal. You guys were listening to your teachers. You guys were um, listening to each other. You guys were doing the right things, even if you didn't think nobody, anybody was looking. And sometimes I actually caught you doing the right things because you didn't even think I was looking. So that's really cool. Also, show that you're responsible with your hands, with your feet, you know, with how you think and what you say with your words. Yesterday, I had to talk to a couple kids as they got off the bus because they were complaining about words that were said to each other on the bus. Guys, the bus is one of the toughest challenges of the day. It's at the beginning of the day and the end of the day if you're a bus rider. And you don't really have a teacher watching you. You have a bus driver driving you. But you want that bus driver's eyes on the road, not on you, right? And so it's easy to maybe do something that you wouldn't normally do if you were being watched. That's the ultimate test. You see, on the bus, when nobody is looking, you could choose to use your mouth in hurtful ways, using hurtful words. Or you could choose to use them in helpful ways, using helpful and positive and enthusiastic words. And you know what? This comes down to the responsibility of which version of you you're going to show. Are you going to show? Am I? Do you want me to show the angry and frustrated Mr. Lin? Or do you want me to show the encouraging and kind and compassionate one? You see, there are different kinds of me. And I hope that you're rooting for the best version of me, which is, I think, the one who's going to encourage you, the one who's going to give you high fives and fist bumps and tell you you did a great job with your reading. And if you're not, that I was, that I would, or any of your teachers would sit next to you and help you work through it because our third B is being ready. And that recognizes that learning isn't easy. And sometimes you have to dust yourself off. And hopefully the best versions of everyone else are going to be right there with you, helping you learn the hard things. Sure, some things that you learn are going to be really easy, but there are going to be some hard things. I promise you that, you know, and maybe you could get angry at Mr. Lin for encouraging hard things for you, but guess what? The more challenges you get, the more you learn about yourself, and of course, the more you learn about school too, all right? So that's respect, responsibility, and readiness. Our character trait of the month is tolerance. That is the fact that we are all different. I look different than you, I'm taller or shorter than some. I know that I'm a boy and there are girls, right? I know that I like to watch certain movies and maybe you would rather watch something else. I like to eat a whole array of foods. Maybe you're pickier, right? And we're all different and we don't really need to make fun of each other. We can celebrate each other. We can rib on each other a little bit, but only in a kind way. But truly, in the end, we should really look at each other and say, you are a pretty cool guy or you are a pretty cool girl because in the end, yeah, I hope you mean it when you say, I love you just the way you are. And that is true. I do love you just the way you are. I hope that you go find other people um, and tell them that you love them just the way they are too. I don't believe that there is a single day here at Fort Zeller where a kid has not come to me to say that I love you just the way you are. Sometimes just one kid. Sometimes it's 20 kids, but guess what? I get to hear a kid tell me that they love me just the way they I am every single day, and that's really cool. And I hope that you're beginning to notice that there are a number of days, more often than not, somebody's going to come find you and tell you they love you just the way they, just the way you are, okay? Because you're different, and we want to celebrate that. All right. I can't wait to see you guys around. Have an amazing Thursday.